Hello, welcome to the latest installment of Surround Music News on Life and Surround. And man, oh man, is this a big one. So going back maybe a year or a little bit more ago, Dolby announced that they were remixing thousands of songs into Atmos. And ever since then, hardcore surround junkies like me have wondered when are they going to be released and in what format. Blu-ray, hopefully, and maybe some sort of streaming, maybe just as a part of movie soundtracks. We weren't really sure, and mum was the word for quite some time. About a week or so ago, Pearl Jam released their new album, Gigaton, intended for theaters in Atmos, but that was scrubbed because of the coronavirus, and they released it to Apple TV+. Plus. Now, at the time, me being an Apple Products Luddite for quite a few years, I thought that was sort of a dick move to just release their album in Atmos to such a particular platform. But just yesterday, Tidal announced that they were releasing Atmos content for Android OSs, including smart TVs with an Android operating system, Amazon Fire products, and Apple TV 4K. Now, me not being overly enamored of Apple products over the last few years, decided to go for the $40 Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K. And after two days of troubleshooting with friends who had the Tidal app on their smart TV or their Apple TV, support tickets to Tidal and Amazon, and a support chat that spanned 12 different agents with Amazon support. I could not get Atmos to come out of this thing through Tidal. I did try some Amazon Prime movies, and those played back in Atmos as they should. So there's a problem between the Fire and Tidal at this time and I gave up, and right before Best Buy was about to close, I ordered an Apple TV 4K for curbside pickup. You can see curbside pickup. That's the day and age we're living in right now. And um, brought it home and went through the setup steps, and instantly the first song I tried played back correctly in Atmos. The difference is $40, $180. You know, there's quite a, a price disparity there, almost five times. But one works and the other one doesn't, at least not yet. <sighs> All right, so what's the sound quality like? The sound quality is really good to my ears. I didn't have any problems with the fidelity. The volume is really low, so you've really got to pump the volume on your system. I had to buy about 20 decibels. Some of the songs start about a second into the song, so you're going to get the first note clipped, and that can be a little bit annoying. I think that only happens when you specifically select a song or skip forward. If you just let a playlist roll through, I don't think that's going to be an issue. There are a variety of mix styles. I only listened to a handful of songs tonight, but already I can tell you that some songs are truly remixed from the multi-tracks into fairly aggressive Atmos. Some songs sound a bit like Big Stereo, and if Big Stereo is a term that you're used to from Quad and 5.1, let's call this Giant Stereo. And then there are other songs that also were probably a stereo source, but they used some technological tricks like a Pentio upmixer or a tool of that sort. Across Rush, R.E.M., Lady Gaga, Leonard Skinner, and more. Some songs were pretty aggressive in Atmos, and some seemed merely atmospheric or immersive. Either way, I easily got my Apple TV 4K up and running. It instantly worked with Tidal Atmos. It sounds good. It sounds fun. I look forward to digging into quite a few more tracks. 
there are maybe several dozen classic rock tracks and there are some country tracks there's a bit of a variety some classical stuff I think it dominates toward pop and that makes sense as title is Jay-Z's baby and honestly like a lot of the song selection I've never even heard of these artists and definitely not the tracks but I'm actually looking forward to digging in because you know, I'm kind of set in my ways, a uh, child of the 80s, and I like what I like. And I love that there's a lot of classic material coming out in surround format through Stephen Wilson, Elliot Shiner, Bob Clearmountain, and others. But we need to also look at the future of music. And, you know, my three-year-old is going to be getting into brand new stuff that I've never heard of. And maybe this is a bridge between the two of us that can bring us together. As he's discovering pop, I can guide him toward the immersive Atmos experience. All right, so a word about Atmos. What is it? It's an object-oriented mix style where instead of mixing for two stereo speakers or even six surround speakers, you can grab an object in the mix and pull it pretty much anywhere into the room like a bubble over the listener and in theory they've engineered it so it can be somewhat reproduced out of a sound bar or even out of like an Amazon Echo but you're gonna get the best results out of a true Atmos system with ideally 11 channels placed all around the room 11 different speakers like I use a Denon X6400H with definitive and poke speakers all around me and up in the ceiling. And that works absolutely incredibly. If you don't get a lot of bang for your buck out of that with music, it works brilliantly for a lot of movies as well. So if you're into kind of the home theater and immersive audio experience, you really do want to go for an Atmos and RO3D capable receiver or pre-pro and true channels set where they ought to be in the room. Are we headed toward multiple streaming subscriptions like Tidal, Apple TV Plus, uh, and then movies like Disney Plus, Netflix Plus in order to get like the full quality and the Atmos experience? I think that probably is the case and maybe that's going to replace like ultra expensive cable bills from a couple years ago. All right, so that's all I got for now. I thought I would bring you this extremely exciting surround music news Atmos rollout on Tidal. I've only dipped my toe in the water, but these are in some cases true Atmos mixes from the multi-tracks. In other cases, pretty convincing upmixes, and in others, giant stereo. But um, hopefully this is just the beginning of the wave. Surround news has been a little light lately, so this is very welcome in my opinion. Hey, if you like what I do, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, ring the notification bell, share this video, comment below, that all helps for the YouTube algorithm to consider this channel important, and it will help to continue to spread the joy of surround around the world. And that's the point of this channel. So until next time, I will encourage you, per usual, to live life in surround.